All right, Andy, bring it in. <laughs> Andy's gonna be the first one to drive it. Hopefully he knows and doesn't crash it into the building or something. Hopefully he knows how to drive it though, for real. Oh, he's moving forward, so here it comes. Right there. I saw some driving around and for some reason they look smaller, but now that I'm next to it, this thing is a lot bigger than, than I thought. Super big. What is that? How you open these doors? Oh, that's crazy. These are the edges they're talking about. You see how they are super thin and there's no real like way the material can stick on there much. So I'm gonna try to wrap these edges because for some reason they look like you can. No door handle, I guess, on these, which is even better because we don't have to take off door handles. And one cool thing about this one is that they already took off the side mirrors. I think the original design wasn't gonna have mirrors and then they added it. They probably made them do that. When it comes to disassembly, I think the only thing we're gonna have to take off might be is this thing here, but it looks like I have pretty good room to work with it. I do gotta be careful with these edges though. It looks like you could easily cut yourself. The hood, super small, but it is pretty wide. I don't think you could save material on this hood. Even though it's short, you're still gonna have to cut long ways, so you're still gonna waste it. Dang, look at this thing. <laughs> like a big old wiper. That thing taller than me. Let's check out the inside. Always first to the finish line, first to the plate when it's dinner time. This thing looks nice. Makes me want one now, but uh, I know it's hard to get these. Foundation, I don't know too much about it, but Foundation Series, I think is like uh, to show that it is one of the originals, one of the first ones made. Different, for sure. I just laid this first door. Uh, one of the things that I was worried about was the film not sticking to the vehicle. Uh, one thing I do notice is that these magnets, they kind of barely stick on here. I could take them off easily. Um, so it's not really sticky for some reason when it comes to magnets. But when it comes to the film, a lot of people were saying that the material was not gonna stick to the car. They were having issues. It was just peeling and all kinds of crap. I'm starting to feel like they were kind of lying and trying to scare everybody. When it comes to gloss black, gloss black is super sensitive to pretty much anything. So I laid this film on top of it, kind of messed with it. But other than that, it was good to go. So, if you're doing this car in gloss black, start with the front door, cut it off, do the back door with this door open and you should be good. When it comes to the edges, so the edges, they won't stick if you cut it too short. Just cut it normally. I cut it on the opposite edge, fold it in, tuck it behind there, and you're good to go. So, pull off this thing here. Look how shiny this thing looks. This thing looks just like glass, super clean. I'm using 3M2080, the new high gloss film. I like the way it looks. The only thing about gloss black is that any little thing will show. So that's one thing you gotta keep in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue and I'll get back to y'all. It is now day three, working on this thing here. What I wanna show you now is me wrapping this fender. This fender looks a bit tricky in a way, but at the same time, not so bad. Everything's pretty flat. I do see a area here that's gonna be a little bit tricky to get all in there. I got this piece cut out but I cut it out yesterday, so I'm gonna see if it still works. It had folded up. It's a nice big piece. All right, so before I cut, double check. We're good to go here. Get all on the floor. Looks cleaner. You may see a little bit of imperfections here but this film does have that cap sheet. So I like to seal off the top real quick, so like that. We don't get any dirt, especially from the AC. So I see some little stuff up here. I'm gonna peel off the cap sheet and see if they're still there, if they're still there. And I am gonna redo this. The moment of truth. Damn, it's pretty much gone. Nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on this side because we're good there. I don't like to peel the entire cap sheet off until I'm really ready to go. Look at that AC blowing. But that's also not a good thing sometimes because that's how you get dirt. You gotta be super careful. I'll go ahead and take this off. Line. First to the plate when it's dinner time.
Just finished up this fender and that means that the entire truck is fully wrapped. The only tricky part on this fender is gonna be that corner right there. You gotta fold it all the way in there, but once you do that, you're good to go. It's a brand new vehicle, my first time wrapping it. Never done one of these, didn't know what to expect. This thing is not that hard to wrap. The only thing you definitely wanna take your time on is gonna be the edges. So you wanna make sure on the edges, be careful, be careful. On the edges, fold them in, make sure you post heat, Post heat. Once you do that, you're pretty much good to go. Everything else, as you can see, is pretty much flat. Big, flat areas, but if you don't clean correctly, you are gonna get some dirt. You are gonna run into those type of issues. You could even get glue lines, especially gloss black. If you've used this, you know it gives you issues. But anyway, I was able to get it down. Looking good, looking smooth, just like glass. At first, I wasn't too sure on the color because I've seen so many black ones down in Houston, but now I see why. It looks clean. So if you wanna see some more videos of me showing you behind the scenes, cause I never show that, make sure you like and subscribe and drop me a comment. What do you think about this truck? 